All right. Um, I want to show you how to do this last assignment here. Okay. This Google Sheets assignment says car dealership. Um, just remember, I'm on I'm on the Google Classroom page right now. There's there's only three required assignments that that I assign, so you should be able to get those done. In fact, the first one, the <clears throat> internet. <coughs> excuse me safety assignment was due due tomorrow monday um so today's sunday <clears throat> i'm making this video uh, but the latest one then is this google sheets uh these two are actually it'll say due um may 18th which is the following monday <clears throat> just make sure you get it done before may 22nd I wouldn't hold off on it. A lot of people have gotten these done already. This second one doesn't take very long at all, the actual assignment part. Now you should be going through, I'll click on it here, um, through this this site here and going through those lessons. Okay, and then there's just like a short little quiz that you'll turn in to go along with that. And then this last one is some actual work using Google Sheets. Okay, so Google Sheets is spreadsheet software. It's this is one of those questions on the quiz, actually. It's, it's very similar to Microsoft Excel, which is normally what I taught, which I probably would have taught if you would have been in class, but the programs are very similar, and you'll see that. Now, when I open this up, this first one is the directions. This one is what, you're, what you'll download and actually work on, and then this one is an example. These two actually have the same exact numbers, so you can really look at this one as an example and see the way yours is supposed to look. Okay. And the winner is Peggy on that. Yours will be the exact same thing. I meant to have it a little bit different, but you know what? That's okay. Um, so here's the, uh, the spreadsheet. Okay. And then let me, I'm going to move this to the side, and open up the directions so you, I can have both documents at the same time. Uh, okay, so it um, should be split screen here. Uh, so if I scroll down, I'm going to go to the steps to complete the assignment. Use the sales figure sheet, which is the fourth quarter, given in from Google Classroom to get the latest sales stats from your team, formatting changes. Okay, so just some formatting changes, which should be very similar to Word. Um, Word or Docs or anything else, we should kind of know how to do this. Center the title at the top. Okay, so I'll go to my center alignment, which the dot, dot, dot up here is gonna give me some more options. Okay, right now I'm, center, I'm at the left alignment. I'm gonna go to center alignment, change the whole document. Okay, make, well, make this size 16. That was in there too. Okay, so my font size right here. Uh, 16 actually is in the list, so I can type it in. Uh, one six, there we go, hit enter. Okay, so now my title's a little bit bigger, it stands out. I'm at 2B here, change the whole document to an aerial font with size 11. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I select everything, everything in the blue selected. It's already at 11. It's at Courier New right now. It said to change to Arial. Okay, so now it's at Arial. Make sure the sales figures, I'm at C here, make sure the sales figures are in dollar amounts. Okay, that's actually already done for you. Okay, um, the way you do change, you format numbers though, and this is important to know. I can select entire columns here by what I did is select up in the letter here. And I can select these entire columns. So they're selected all the way down to infinity here. Okay. And then um, my number format. Okay. So I'll click back on the this here. Well, actually, they're, they're right here. Okay. Um, format is currency. You can format as a percentage in some things. Uh, change the decimal point. Uh, this drop down menu is going to give you a lot of different other options you could use to make dollar signs. There's one called accounting, there's currency, financial. So there's a lot of different ones. Uh, I like the accounting or currency the best. Okay. So actually it was on accounting. I just basically what I want to see is the, is the dollar signs. Okay. So you can change that to another one with dollar signs like the currency. Totally fine. Okay. Just make sure it's in dollar amounts.
uh, make columns A through H size 120. Okay, so I'm going to select columns A through H, okay, which is the columns with information in them. And if I right click anywhere in any one of those columns, it'll give me the chance to resize columns. Okay, they're at right now they're at 100. I'm going to switch that to 120, just makes them a little wider. Okay, didn't too, too much. Sometimes you need to widen them out to make things show up. And I changed them all the same to make them look more uniform. Okay, find the sales total. Okay, so now we're going to find the numbers. Okay, sales total. When you hear the word total, you should be thinking to add things up or to sum, sum up a group of numbers. Okay, so from the three months, you're going to add these up. So equals, well, you can do this a couple of different ways. Okay. Um, and we did do some assignments when you were in sixth grade where we talked about this auto sum button. Okay. So this has to do with groups of numbers. Okay. And, and uh, if I don't hit anything else, there's other things you can do. But the first option, or if you just hit the button itself, is to sum up a group of numbers. Okay. So I'm going to hit sum. Select your range, which is the numbers you're going to add up. And if I look in the cell here, it says B3 to D3. So B3 is a 310,000, D3 is 326, and then any numbers in between. So it's that number, that range there, hit enter. So you would do the same thing all the way down, okay? But if you can remember from last year, I'm pretty sure we talked about this, and this is one of the best things about spreadsheets, saves you so much time, is being able to autofill or copy the formula okay i want to be able to do this if i want to do the same thing for each row underneath see how that's kind of a, a blue box in the lower left once my cursor changes to the black x left click and drag down and then boom okay it automatically added all those up so it did the same thing for each row sales points okay sales points if i look over at the direction uh, total sales divided by 100,000. It gets it into a more manageable number, okay? That's all it's doing there. So I'm going to take, and this was in one of the uh, questions on that quiz there. If you want to do type in a formula, you got to start with equals. So equals sales total divided by, which is slash, 100,000. three. Don't put the comma in there when you're putting in numbers. Okay, a lot of people want to do that and it won't, it won't read that comma right. Just put in the numbers, 100,000. So five zeros behind it. Okay, and you get 8.25. All right. Drag that down. Okay, now I have that into more manageable number, kind of like my service points. Okay, service points are given to you. That That's uh, like customers would fill out a, a, a sheet or something on how well they were... Um, the customer service was from the salesman. So that's where they came from. Okay. But sales points you figured out. So we're going to find total points. Okay. So I can simply just add them up. I could use my auto sum again. I could just type in equals and then add. I'm only working with two numbers here. Add these up. Boom and boom. And then hit enter. Okay. So there we go. Drag down. Okay. It said something in the direct, okay, rank the employees by total points. You do not need to do this. Google Sheets made this a whole lot harder than I wanted it to. At least it's, it's, it's really easy to do in Excel. You can do it in Sheets. Um, I'm kind of showing you here. If you select everything and then I can sort range, that was column H. And I would want to go Z to A sort. And then it should have put them in, in the correct order. Um, Let me see here. Okay, well, it did work. It worked a little easier than I thought there. Um, 
so you can you can do that. Uh, I was having a hard time with that earlier, um, but it did it seemed to work a lot better there. Okay, so the other way I was doing it was creating a whole new chart, and that made things way more difficult than it should have been. So you could do it, <laughs> since I already said that you can't. Don't worry about it. But um, it did seem to put them in the correct order there. Um, okay, so finally, you need to create direction number seven, create a graph, a column graph. Okay, so we only want the salesperson and total points. So if you hold down control on the keyboard, I can just select those two things. I don't have to select everything in between. Now, if I go to insert, you'll see your chart options. It all it will already put in now. Excel makes you choose a chart. A lot of times this one will already put one in and you can change that. But a column chart is going to work the best or a lot of people refer to it as a bar chart as well or bar graph. OK, but you really don't have to do anything else with this. There's more we could do with it. Um, but if you select things correctly, it will make the table the way we want to. OK, now let me look over here and make sure I got everything. Uh, Oh, you just make sure you have the winner on it. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. So make sure you can read everything. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Okay, so the winner, you know, who has the highest bar here? Obviously, Peggy. And look, I know you can see that if you look back at the number three, um, you'll see that uh, the numbers are exactly the same. So you can use that as a guide, certainly. Don't just go through and type in the numbers, though. I don't want you to do that. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose of, of the assignment, okay? And I can be able to, I can, when you turn them in, I can click, and this is what they call the formula bar up here, and I want to be able to see what you did mathematically, not just type in the numbers, okay? So that's how you complete this assignment, okay? shouldn't take you too terribly long, I don't think. Um, again, uh, um, on Google Classroom here, I'm just going to go to Classwork. Okay, so these three assignments, just make sure you get them done. Um, I know this has been a very strange quarter here. If I had to do things over again, I probably would have um, assigned more from the beginning, but, um, you know, I kind of signed the typing first. I thought we'd be back, but it just didn't work out that way. So I encourage you to do the typing. You did not have to do it, but uh, that will help you heading into eighth grade. So um, let's make sure you get stuff done. Okay, I miss, I miss seeing all students um, towards the end of the year. Again, this has just been really weird. Uh, but, you know, we'll do what we have to do, and uh, who knows what's going to happen in the fall. I hope we're at school, but we may be doing more of this, and it will be, we'll have to be a little bit more comprehensive, too. Um, all right, so enjoy, um, well, today's Sunday right now, so enjoy the rest of the weekend, and um, if you're not turning, thank you to those that are turning stuff in right away. Some of you have been great about it. Some of you, uh, not so much, so get, get them turned in, okay? And uh, if not, I'm going to be having to make some phone calls this week and I'm going to really start putting things into teacher ease. So so be looking later in the week for that. OK. All right. We'll see you later.